For the first time since 2008, teams one and two on the Telstra Premiership table eyeballed each other on the biggest stage of all. On that occasion, Melbourne were mauled by a manly outfit guided by Des Hasler, who was now aiming to become the first coach to claim successive premierships with two different clubs. His Canterbury side had already snared the JJ Gilton and Shield, but their designs on the major title faced a sizeable obstacle at ANZ Stadium in the shape of a battle-hardened storm. Yet in spite of their greater experience, it was a nervous start for Melbourne, with one of their big guns nearly gifting the opposition four points. Sam Perrett who was trying to get a intercept. Slater was spared an embarrassing beginning and felt even better four minutes later when Ryan Hoffman replicated his effort from the 09 decider. Hoffman goes for the line and he gets it over there. Hoffman has scored, I fancy. The referee points to the spot. Melbourne four. Yet to score. Melbourne virtually owned the football in the opening quarter, at one stage enjoying four consecutive sets. However, the resilient dogs dug in and made sure they put the steed into good use when they finally had it. And Perrot goes after it and does he score? Oh yeah. Sam Perrot, I think, might have a try. I don't even think Billy Slater has stopped this. Now it explodes in, in the in goal area. All of a sudden, the 2012 Grand Final had exploded and the match officials had plenty on their plate. Firstly, they gave Sam Perrett the green light for his grounding. Then they had to deal with the ugly scuffle that spilled out over the touchline, issuing a general warning to both captains. But one of the most sensational moments of the season was about to come. You see the blood on the out here? Everyone's seen that? Right, it's on the record. That incident is on report. That's all you can do. The incident's on report for an allegation of body. Bulldogs interchange forward James Graham found himself in the bad books and the footage wasn't favourable for him. Oh, oh, oh here it is here. It's James it Graham James and Billy Graham. Slater. Oh, gee. When a sense of order was restored, it was Melbourne that settled best. Cronk got it away to Slater. Slater, he's over Billy the Kid. <laughs> Billy Slater has scored another, another try. Should be tackle I three, think. mate, just the grounding. Now they want to check ground. Slater's put-down was perfect, not to mention the freakish understanding he has with his halfback. Cronk was having a match to remember, whether with the ball in hand or off his boot. Cronk puts a kick in. Oh, Justin O'Neill! Justin O'Neill! What a fly! Despite Cameron Smith kicking just one from four, the Storm still enjoyed a ten-point advantage at half-time. It was obvious that Canterbury had to be next on the board, but their opponents had all the answers. After Michael Ennis failed to find the turf, the Bulldogs looked to their magic man for inspiration. Barber's turned a couple of them around. Barber's down the left side. He kicks to the centre. Josh Morris is after it. Can he get a bounce? Can he get a bounce? No, he can't. It's gone over the dead ball line. Oh, the Bulldogs crowd, they went up as one. That left Craig Bellamy's boys looking for the knockout blow. Slater's coming at 100 miles an hour. There's the bat down. Oh, Graham Murray has scored in a grand final. The big front rower thought he had snared a rare try, but was in front of the kicker, giving Canterbury the lifeline they were looking for. There was still enough time for the blue and whites, but Melbourne's wall was impregnable and worthy of the status they were about to earn. Oh, he's relaxed. He's finally, he's finally let down. And is now able to celebrate this win by a wonderful side, the Melbourne Storm, taking the grand final of 2012 as they did in 1999 in just their second year. It was a scoreless second half, and while Canterbury had their chances, there was little doubt about the storm supremacy. My premierships are one on defence, and my our boys, that, that's what we build our game on. You know, since I've been at the club, and since Craig's been at the club, and you know, to, today you know, it, was a, it was special. You know, defence, mate, defence. That's all I can say. Both teams defended pretty well. It wasn't too many points scored in it. And, no, full credit to our boys. They just kept turning up, kept turning up. There's so many elusive players in that side. And our boys just kept turning up. Nor was there any doubt about the grand final's best player with Cooper Cronk receiving the Clive Churchill medal. 
So congratulations to the Melbourne Storm. Enjoy the moment. You've done it before. <laughs> NRL champions for season 2012. David Rollins, Big Pond Sport. Watch exclusive NRL videos on your mobile with a 2012 NRL Action Pack. Get yours today at m.nrl.com.